Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Susanna Morrissey of Arm Wellness, and I'm a well-being expert. I'm delighted to be here over the next coming weeks to share my self-care strategies with you and how to build ritual to which supports your happiness and well-being. So here we all are, we three, all trying to cope with the new normal that we're all faced with. And it hasn't been an easy balancing act, has it? But the important thing now is to start shifting from that state we had a couple of weeks of shock, and maybe some people are still in shock, and start moving our attention towards the state of acceptance of what is. Because all we can accept is what is now here. However, there are two things that we have control over. And imagine knowing how to manage these two things so that you could feel instantly better and feel happier. Well, the two things that we're going to show you today how to manage are your time and also your thinking. So the two T's, how we use our time and how we manage our thoughts. So today I want to show you four simple steps to achieving this ritual, this new ritual in your life, okay? And how to also manage your thinking better. And the first step I'd like you to do, so perhaps make a little note of this if you have a pen and paper. The first thing I want you to do is to segregate five areas of your life in your home. Today, if you haven't done this already, start this today. Set up a sleep space. This is absolutely one space only for sleep. So sleep, a space for eat, a space for exercise, which is really good for you, a space for work, which is also interesting, and a space for rest. And those five rituals every day will have an appropriate space in your home, okay? And the second thing I want you to do is on a Sunday evening at eight o'clock after dinner, rally the troops around the home, if you have kids or teenagers, rally them all around or your other significant half, or just yourself, bring that sense of purpose to your Sunday evening and draw up two lists, one for home tasks and one for work tasks. And straight away, mobilize the teams, assign owners to the house tasks which need to be completed for the week. And be explicit, have an owner and put it up in the fridge. And this is very clear going forward, who does what? I will save oodles of stress during the week. The second list, the work tasks, can be left till Monday morning, but you've identified what needs to be done. Have a relaxing Sunday, Third thing is to start Monday afresh, eight o'clock. And with the work tasks now that you've identified, I want you to apply the 80-20 rule. So you want to spend most of your time, the 80% of your time, on the most important tasks, which are the important tasks which demand more of your focus and attention. And I want you to spend very little time on the routine, urgent tasks. The time at which you do this is also important. You must attack the urgent ones you don't really want to do, the routine tasks first in batches of two minutes. So just label two minutes, ring client, urgent, straight away. Get them off your table, get them off your mind. In the other list, important, now you have control over how you are going to carry out that work, okay? And this is the time you don't need to disturb. This is the time you need to complete these important projects. And if you don't complete those projects on Monday, you will bring them into your Tuesday, but they're still on your list of, of must-dos. Really effective way to gain control immediately. And the third thing you need to do, which is also very important for the census, is to set up a well workspace, which ties into step one of setting up functional spaces in your home. So in your well space, have the things that make you happy, I love flowers. I have my favourite flower here. And I love my Larry, the leprechaun, who was doing yoga. So he's my little emblem and he cheers me up and I have him on my table. I have my list of to-dos, my must-dos, and my might dos and my urgents. And I attack my urgents first and then my important tasks. But before you begin your workday, the last thing you need to do is to manage how you're going to think and manage how you are thinking right now. And we do that by asking ourselves two little questions in a little reflection before we begin. And all you need to do is ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? And 
are those thoughts useful now? And any time you find yourself overthinking or catastrophizing, just ask yourself, are these thoughts useful right now? Nip them in the bud and go back to something that interrupts you. Because we need to find ground during this time. And that little reflection before you begin will really set you up for your work day. And next week, I'm going to show you some more self-care strategies and how we manage our thinking better and our feeling within these spaces. I really hope that was useful for you. And I really hope you get some benefit this week in your new world. And remember, we're all in this together and we will all get through this together on wellness, supporting your well-being. Have a lovely weekend.